This is FAIR TV. I'm Janine Jackson. New Iranian President Hassan Rouhani has been getting a lot of media attention for delivering a different message than his predecessor. But some coverage misleads about how much has changed. An NBC Nightly News broadcast kicked off with anchor Brian Williams announcing that their exclusive interview would include big revelations about nuclear weapons. So what was the big news? From the sound of it, NBC was talking about Rouhani's statement that Iran is not pursuing a nuclear weapon. We have never pursued or sought a nuclear bomb, and we are not going to do so. We are solely seeking peaceful nuclear technology. Can you say that Iran will not build a nuclear weapon under any circumstances whatsoever? The answer to this question is quite obvious. We have time and again said that under no circumstances would we seek any weapons of mass destruction, including nuclear weapons, nor will we ever. But that's not exactly big news. In fact, the last Iranian president, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, said the same thing almost exactly a year ago to an American journalist. He sent the same message a few weeks later. That's not to say nothing's changed, but it's misleading to present these statements as representing a dramatic shift. It only seems that way to U.S. corporate media, who refer constantly to Iran's nuclear weapons program. There's a jarring graphic in the new Time magazine. You see two mass shooters, Nidal Hassan, who killed 13 people at Fort Hood, and Aaron Alexis, suspected of killing 12 at D.C.'s Navy Yard. And you see two famous whistleblowers, Edward Snowden and Chelsea Manning, here called Bradley. The point of the accompanying article is, as Times' Mark Thompson put it, quote, the military security clearance system is utterly, tragically broken, close quote. All four, then, represent dangerous individuals who slipped through a system meant to ferret out bad guys. Hassan and Alexis are known because of acts of deadly violence. Snowden and Manning risked their own lives to expose official wrongdoing. Journalists around the world have used the information they shared to inform citizens about things their government doesn't want them to know. It may be that all four are seen as threats by the government, but it's disheartening to have to say that it's not journalists' job to mimic the state's worldview. And finally, NBC's Chuck Todd took heat for seeming to suggest that it wasn't reporters' job to correct misunderstandings of the Affordable Care Act. Most people sense it's an issue that calls out for clarification between competing claims. Well, NBC's Meet the Press host David Gregory almost seemed to be responding to that on September 22nd, but his clarification effort was a little unclear. Gregory was hosting a debate between lawmakers. Republicans who oppose the Affordable Care Act and Democrats who support it. But they were mainly talking past each other. One said insurance premiums were going down. Another said they were going through the roof. So Gregory intervened. Let me inject a point of fact here. He followed with the true but not overly helpful information that premiums were going up in some states and down in other states if they have exchanges. And he went on. Here are some of the headlines this week. A couple pro, a couple con here. Reuters, Cleveland Clinic announces job cuts to prepare for Obamacare. Bloomberg, GE, IBM ending retiree health plans in an historic shift. USA Today, health care for 100 bucks a month. Yes, really, that is possible. The South Florida Sun Sentinel, Obamacare cuts costs. So there is vulnerability because it is unpopular, and but there is not a a fact pattern that you can say is a singular fact pattern in terms of the impact of Obamacare yet. It's not wrong to point to varied impacts of policy or to confusion over it, but a list of headlines is not analysis. There may not be a singular fact pattern, but there are facts. And Gregory's intervention looks like that broader media trend of reducing fact-checking to saying everybody's got a point. It's balanced but it's not very useful. I'm Janine Jackson. This is Fair TV.